Well, she's not even old enough to drive, but Hopkins teenager is taking on a public health crisis for women. She wants to make tampons and pads free in Minnesota schools. Caroline Cummings spent time with this ambitious teenager who's trying to break the financial and emotional struggle. As the day ends, hundreds of students at Hopkins High School shuffle to after school activities or to catch a bus home. How much time do you have between your classes? Five minutes. But 15 year old Elif Osterk's extracurricular these days <laughs> takes her from class to the Capitol Education to give lawmakers. Policy. We've come to order, we have a quorum. A piece of her mind. My number one priority should be to learn, not to find a pad. So I can no longer be complacent with this injustice. That injustice that young women like her don't have guaranteed free pads and tampons in school, especially for girls who can't afford them, known as period poverty. One survey shows more than one in five students have struggled to afford menstrual products. We're not asking for a lot to just provide a basic necessity for our girls to show that we care about them. Elif says when she was in eighth grade, she realized her classmates would scramble to get menstrual products when they didn't have them, at times skipping school. She did her homework, looking to the dozen other states that have passed similar laws. Anyone who just asked their daughters or their mothers or their granddaughters and see their reaction to this, I mean, they'll realize it's needed. It's not. A luxury being asked for. The National Council for Jewish Women in Minnesota has been fighting the same battle as ELIF, collecting donations and sending 200,000 pads and tampons to schools and organizations across the state. What we have found is basically that it's working. There's nothing political about periods. It's just common sense, it's inexpensive, and it's, it's a way to right a wrong. Their support is why at Hopkins you walk into a women's restroom and find this. The vision Elif has for schools everywhere. It's enough to suffice for the rest of the school year and hopefully by next year my bill will be doing it. In Minnetonka, Caroline Cummings, WCCO 4 News. The proposal would cost just under $2 million. The state spends more than $24 billion on education from pre-K to 12th grade.